I'm Georgie Barrett and welcome to your week in tech. Spotify has announced a $526 million funding round as 20 million people now pay for its streaming service worldwide. That brings the total it has raised since 2008 to $1.1 billion. Personalized healthcare management firm Quinec has secured $9.3 million in a round led by Guild Healthcare Partners. Digital Assess has secured a $3 million injection of funds for its e-learning technology and will expand to help people in education and the workplace worldwide. Beauty marketplace Wahanda has made its fourth European acquisition in the past six months, scooping up Dutch startup Treatwell for $37.2 million. The WWDC kicked off this week with Apple's keynote speech unveiling a range of new products and hardware. The much anticipated Apple Music will be available by the end of this month and will incorporate music streaming, iTunes downloads, an internet radio service and will allow artists to share unreleased tracks. ISO 9, meanwhile, will see Siri take a step up in intelligence. Not only will Siri be faster, but will also learn what you like doing, suggesting apps or songs accordingly. And one more thing, get ready for Apple Pay, as it's arriving on our UK shores in July. With a tap of your phone, you'll soon be able to pay for goods from the likes of Boots, Costa and Transport for London. Facebook has started giving out free place tips to businesses. The small beacon devices use Bluetooth to send updates and adverts to people's smartphones when they're nearby. Once a business sets up a beacon, it can detect when a Facebook user is close and will send over offers, adverts or information directly to their newsfeed. Now, it's already been trialled in New York with 100 businesses and is set to be rolled out across the US. Beacon devices could be a game changer for local businesses, but it's still yet undecided as to whether the public will find it a bit too intrusive. Our download of the week is a must for any budding entrepreneur. SmartUp is a virtual mentoring app that gives you advice from some of the world's top business minds. Not only that, simulations, challenges and quizzes will ensure you're fighting fit to take on any hurdles starting up a business might throw at you. And finally, researchers have created a smelly map of London through aggregating smell-related words from social media. The urban smellscape of the city reveals that Hyde Park is a haven for good smells, but if you want to avoid the smell of traffic, then we recommend you staying away from any of the bridges. This has been your Week in Tech. Thanks for watching, and for more, check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.